What is going on world? What's up everyone? It's Zero here. Today I am bringing you guys a brand new StarCraft 2 game between two players who you guys should know at least one of them. And in the top left hand corner of Acid Plant LE playing with the Protoss pieces, we have a player who goes by the name of Showtime. And on the opposite side of the map, bottom right hand corner, Playing with the Zerg pieces, we have a player who goes by the name of Crow. Guys and girls, I'm super excited about this game because I've casted some games of Crow as well as Showtime. And these two players, Showtime in particular is of course the better known of the two. But, but I, I will say this, Crow has some very interesting strategies that you guys might really be able to, to get something from because he's not quite as high up as far as well known in the WCS circuit, but this guy very well might be able to make his uh, make a name for himself moving forward. So it looks like guys, there was a, a quick lag right there, but uh, Showtime he needs absolutely no introduction whatsoever. This guy is an incredible Proto uh, Protoss player, one of the best currently, in my opinion, in the world. So it looks like he's going for a standard uh, gateway into a gas guys, and on the opposite side, it looks like a hatch gas pool is coming out of our Zerg player. Relatively standard Nothing seems too out of the order ordinary at least at this point. I Really do love casting Games of players who you might not know a whole lot about guys because like I said Some of you might be trying if you're like me You might be trying to you know get better at playing Starcraft 2 and if you are you might learn something from even the lower tier Starcraft 2 players and one of those being would be Crow. So hopefully you guys can learn something from each of these guys in one way or another in this game. Showtime has uh, built his uh, cyber or is building a cybernetic core as well as his natural expansion. Whereas on the opposite side, Crow is actually already getting his third base. So very interesting. Um, I'm, I'm assuming it looks like Crow is planning for a macro focus game. He's probably not daring to uh, cheese his opponent in Showtime. Sometimes I wonder, guys, though, you know, when you're kind of, when you're in the midst of, of, of you know, playing against really well-known players, like Crow, for example, who's not as well-known, what does he think about doing? What's a strategy really going into playing against someone like Showtime? I really wonder what it is that they that they kind of think about. Is it, you know what, I'm just going to play my game and the best of my ability, or should I just cheese him and see if it works? You know, it's something that I, I, I do wonder quite a bit. We do have an Adept that is now shading into the main base location of our Zerg. I'm not, I'm assuming he is not going to commit here, but he's going to try to get some good um, standard uh, information here. Um... It looks like uh, more and more adepts are being made. Also, uh, the Showtime really loves his Phoenix play, so he's been really favoring the Phoenixes. So it looks like more and more Phoenixes are going to be coming out here, um, as well as some adepts. So Showtime's really playing a pretty standard game, and this is why sometimes, guys, I wonder if it would be almost better to just try to cheese your opponent at least the first game. Maybe you know, play. Maybe what uh, Crow and some of these other guys who play. You know, if they're playing someone like Showtime, they think, you know what, the first game I'm going to play, you know, a macro focus style, and then I'm going to move into um, immediately following that game number two. Maybe I'll try to cheese the opponent, especially if I win game number one. So it looks like these Zergings are going to almost pick up those, could have probably picked up uh, those Adepts, but they decide not to commit there, and the Adepts decide to return home. Oracle's coming across the map here. Um, looks like Crow has not started the, um, has not started the Spore Crawlers. He's just now doing that in each of the bases. So good response time from, uh, from Crow. These Zergings are kind of moving across the map, just trying to see, like, if they're, they can get any kind of scouting information. I think what Showtime is so good at, though, guys, is simply, uh, the way that he plays as far as his defense is what stands out to me. His defense is absolutely incredible. War Prism is now coming out, as well as the Templar Archives. So we're probably going to see some, some High Templar. Um, we also have the Twilight Council is out as well. So I'm very interested to see how this is going to play out for 
uh, for Showtime. And I'm really interested to see how Crow, um, going up against such a great player like Showtime, let's see how well this guy um, plays here in this game. I'm, I am I am super duper excited just to see if he can if he can hang with the likes of someone like Showtime. Because a lot of these guys can't hang. But at the same time, you would be surprised how long these guys can hang. They can, you know, they might not win, guys. You know, someone like Crow or, you know, Skillis or Gerald. But at the same time, they may very well give these amazing players like Showtime a real run for their money. And so the War Prism ends up picking up a couple of those Archons, which the Archon drops are something that uh, has been absolutely something that our uh, our Protoss player, Showtime, has been doing a lot of. And the, the, the macro is on point right now for, for Showtime. I wasn't expecting him to, to lose any of those uh, Archons, and he, of course, did not do that. Didn't do much damage, but... At the same time, as we're as we're talking, it looks like the Baneling Nest is, is coming up, as well as plus two. Looks like uh, he's getting his uh, his plus two, and then at the same time, he's also uh, getting the Hydra Den out. These Archons are going to try to get a cancel on this uh, fourth base location, and he very well might do this. He did get the kill on it. He didn't even get the cancel. That was a kill. Very nicely done by Showtime. And this is just showing, guys, why this this Protoss player is a force to be reckoned with at this point. He just tends to be a real nuisance sometimes, too. With the draw play, with the Phoenixes, it can be very difficult playing against this kind of style that Showtime is playing right now. Phoenix is still kind of floating around the map. A lot of upgrades, the roly-poly upgrades for the Banelings is coming out. And it looks like he's definitely, that is, Crow, is, is really focusing on a uh, macro focus game. Charge is almost uh, about to complete. And this force by our, uh, our uh, Protoss player is starting to look pretty scary. I'm a little bit worried that Crow may not be ready for this kind of engagement. He does have some Banelings, of course. But it looks like... Our Protoss player is not going to wait around. It looks like he is about to just top on, really come on top of this. And with some good macro, it looks like there's a good chance, guys, that our Protoss may just keep pushing here. A lot of queens, though, you got to be careful. The queens are trying to defuse each other as well as these Hydras. So it looks like smartly our Protoss player, Showtime, is going to back up and just fight uh, at a different point and our Zerg player gets to fight another day here so very interesting um, but this is what I'm talking about guys I know that if I was going up against Showtime and I had any kind of issues um, or if I was going up against this kind of army at this point in the game um, I probably would have some some massive issues going up against him and I probably would have lost the game right then and right there I would have probably lost my entire army um now, of course, I'm guys. I, I'm I'm not a pro player, so you know I do have that in my defense. So, but anyways, a couple of these zealots are probably going to get picked up here for almost free here. On the opposite side over here, though, looks like Showtime once again is 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 going to go for some drops. He's going to drop off some of these uh, zealots that are in this warp prism. Now, luckily for Crow, he did see this. He knows it's coming, or at least he should, because this could this could be bad news for um, the Zerg player if, if he does not uh, get some kills here, or if he does not take out these uh, uh, you know any units. It looks like he's just he's just really testing the waters. What this does, guys? Okay. For those of you wondering, like Showtime, as he's as he's doing these, you know, this draw play, what it's doing is instead of our Zerg player moving out across the map over to the Protoss player's bases, it's keeping him at home. And on top of that, it's helping give the Protoss more and more time to just max out a, a, a menacing force. Now, 
a lot of banelings are coming up here, guys. A lot of banelings. So at this point, guys, Crow could really take full advantage right here. This is a lot of, uh, of banelings, guys. A lot of banelings. And with some good baneling uh, hits here, uh, that could really hurt the Protoss player. I don't know if there is actually enough here for our Protoss player. This should be very interesting to see how our, our Protoss is going to respond to all of these Banelings. He's going to have some really good hits of the High Timers. We all know the power of the Storm um, uh, cast, but here we go. It looks like some of those some of these storms are absolutely huge, guys. The Banelings are rolling in. They're going to try as hard as they can to get some hits on our, um, on, on these, uh, on the Archons as well as the High Templar. I just don't think that there's going to be quite enough Zerg here. And just like that, the Zerg has to go home. And not empty handed, they did take out the fourth base. But with that, the Protoss can just move across the map here, guys. Our, our, our Zerg player just lost everything. Those Storms, guys, I have been saying they are one of the, probably the most powerful spell in all of StarCraft 2. And here we go. It looks like these Archons as well as these Zealots are going to push across. And Crow may have overstayed his welcome there, guys and girls. In, in, a, very, in a game that Crow very well could have taken there. Showtime shows why he is one of the best Protoss in the world. I hope you guys did enjoy this cast and this game between Showtime and Crow. And if you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, stay positive, and as always, I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace.